Hello everyone and welcome in this session dedicated to computer vision at the edge and how this set of technologies can help optimize your industrial operations. I'm Michael Harrow and I'm an industrial AI specialist solutions architect at AWS. So today we're talking about uh, industrial challenges to bring computer vision at the edge and industrial organizations face many challenges to transform data access and data management while answering security and enabling scale. All of this in order to fit critical decision making in real time. When you talk about data access, it means to integrate data from new and legacy equipment, dealing sometimes with hundreds of different industrial protocols. From a data management perspective, you need to organize large amounts of unstructured, disparate machine data and contextual operational data. And as an industrial customer, you need to keep both your operational assets and its data secure. And you need all of this at scale. You need the ability to manage assets, device fleets, and data across sites, with some sites potentially in environments with limited connectivity. So all of that comes down to how do you enable real-time or near real-time decision-making which sometimes means that you must operate at the edge with minimal tolerance for latency. So there are two areas I would like to discuss today. When we talk to our customers and observe the kinds of problems they are looking to solve, there are two areas that come up repeatedly. One here on the left is quality control. And the other one is warehouse, logistics, worker safety, and supply chain management at large. If we look at the current state for quality control, there are two methods that are currently taking place, manual inspections and machine vision solutions. However, they are both limited in being able to scale and they're both expensive. And although machine vision systems reduce the need in labor hours, they carry high upfront cost and they are not that flexible. Now, when we think about warehouse and supply chain automation, the current state is that, that we see that many customers are currently manually monitoring physical spaces and processes. So that could be whether for tracking inventory, identifying inbound trucks, how they come in to either pick up or drop off materials. And even from a worker safety standpoint, there are no automated ways to ensure that workers are being protected when they're working in environments that may be hazardous. Manual processes make real-time accurate insights very hard to provide, and they also make it very hard to automate the whole workflow. So we looked at this and wanted to look basically for ways to use AI and ML to optimize and automate many of these processes. And this is what we see at the future state. Uh, using some of the services in our industrial AI portfolio to actually take a step forward uh, in automating many of these processes. For instance, you could deploy cameras and leverage a service such as Lookout for Vision to perform automated quality inspection. This yields real-time insights and enable automations of this crucial step. On the supply chain optimization side, on the right, on the right here, Customers are leveraging AWS Panorama to automate visual recognition processes. And these processes could be counting boxes and pallets or reading labels, for instance. But let's take a step back here and talk about what computer vision is. So um, today um, we would like to talk about how computer vision can help you automating your processes, such as quality inspection or supply chain optimization, as we just touched upon. Now, You've probably all heard about computer vision, but just to level set on the definition, uh, what is it exactly? So computer vision is uh, a process enabling images and videos analysis to automate the extraction of information from the physical world. And thanks to machine learning, the implementation of computer vision has never been easier. And of course, customers need that very often at the edge. So customers are getting more excited about these computer vision use cases, but many are finding it that it's difficult to implement and scale these solutions, especially in sites where limitations exist in connecting to the cloud and sending data offsite. These customers 
want to optimize the computer vision for the edge. Many use cases require real-time responses uh, to what's being captured by the video cameras. Uh, for instance, pharmaceutical companies may want to inspect vaccine vials on a fast-moving conveyor belt to validate field levels. They need sub-second response time to maintain throughput. And a round trip to the cloud would actually render this invisible. So low latency will actually give you real-time insights. Uh, other customers actually operate in environment when they actually have bandwidth constraints. It could be related to cost infrastructures or simply intermittent connectivity. And in these instances, it is either very expensive to say high bandwidth video streams back to the cloud, or customers don't have sufficient bandwidth to do that uh, to start with. They would prefer to be able to process all of the video at the edge and optionally send select data back to the cloud. Finally, customers operating in regulated industries may need to process data at the edge due to data privacy or governance concerns. These customers have corporate security policies or regulatory requirements that restrict their ability to send video and image data back to the cloud. And as a result of these constraints, customers are looking for a solution that allows them to capture and process image and video data where it resides, at the edge. As a matter of fact, IDC predicts that by next year, 70% of organizations will run varying levels of analytic and AI models at the edge. And this is, of course, outside of computer vision alone, but gives us a sense of the scale operating at the edge. However, there are still many challenges to operationalize your AI ML at the edge. First, computer vision models are hand-tuned for each application and they break easily. Um, smart cameras with onboard inference capability are very expensive. So it will take a long time to get to the kind of production performance ratios that we can get with the cloud. In addition, these smart cameras actually don't support multiple workloads. And last but not least, they are very hard to operationalize. Camera networks are usually off IT's radar. And even if you are able to overcome all these challenges, you may still need to scale to hundreds or thousands of devices. In a nutshell, customer tells us that computer vision solutions are expensive and difficult to scale. Let's jump into automating visual quality inspection and how computer vision powered by machine learning can help. For this, we're going to talk about Amazon Lookout for Vision. Amazon Lookout for Vision is an AI ML managed service designed to spot defects and anomalies with computer vision on pictures and photographs that you send to the service. Using this service is possible without any machine learning experience, and it only requires a very small set of images to start with. This means that you could build a computer vision-based anomaly detection model and integrate it in a larger system very quickly. Let's see how this works. So on the left here, you can see that we capture uh, and process your training images. So basically it could be images captured by your local cameras in your production facility. You load them into Amazon Lookout for Vision. So you could see that actually as a bring your own data system. Lookout for Vision will then allow you to label your images. In the second step, you'll be able to train a model and tune it uh, so that you can get a very good defect detection model. And once deployed, you can use this built-in dashboard to monitor defects and start improving your process. So compared to manual inspection, machine learning-based automated quality inspections improves defect detection speed, consistency, and accuracy. It also lowers the cost of quality control inspection compared to machine vision systems. As stated before, no machine learning experience is required, and you can start building a model with as few as 30 images, which that includes just 10 defect occurrences. Lookout for Vision also includes a continuous improvement workflow. 
and uh, it allows end users to mark predictions as correct or not. And the service will then use these labeled images to constantly maintain a high quality models under the hood, and that keeps improving with time. What about the use cases that Lookout for Vision can tackle? So here are a few examples where Amazon Lookout for Vision can be used. On the top left here, you can see a scratch on a printed circuit board. Uh, you may also want to detect missing parts like this uh, missing um, uh, pills in the blister pack or shape defects uh, like in uh, this improper solder or again on a printing circuit board. And you can even use this type of models to learn consistent texture as normal and flag inconsistencies as defect. And this is what you see in this photograph of a coil uh, on the bottom right here. And this can scale across whole production lines. You could have cameras capturing images at every step of your manufacturing process. So imagine you are in an automotive uh, factory here. Um, on the top left here, you can imagine this is where our steel coils are manufactured, similar to the one we just see a picture for. Um, and the camera here can be used to spot defect on this. Next, we can send this to stamping process and another visual inspection step will ensure we capture stamping irregularities before it is used further down the path. Uh, this will prevent actual rework from happening or maybe customer complaints because the product was of bad quality and has some defects, visual defects when customers actually collect their car. World quality is another area where we see this type of visual defect detection model providing high value and performing some heavy lifting on behalf of subject matter experts who can actually focus on the most critical areas. World quality uh, it could be for well called uh, colors. Uh, they may have improper shape or they may have some uh, holes in them. And visual uh, defect detection models are great to spot this, let's say, obvious um, defects visible in pictures. Assembly areas provide a lot of opportunity for computer vision workloads. You can detect misalignment, missing pieces, malformed parts. And further down the road, a painting process. So when you paint a car, you usually want to ensure the color is the same everywhere. However, the underlying material could be different. Plastic for the bumper, metal for the car body, for instance, which means that the paint applied on the whole car may have different chemical composition. However, it must stay the same when the final customers look at it. This is called compatibility, the fact that two different paints look the same when they are applied on different material. And here again, computer vision can track the effects as soon as the paint is actually deposited on the car. And it can do that with a lot higher precision than an expert can actually do. All of this, of course, can be built into an overall dashboard. A plant manager could use this kind of dashboard to actually display in its own command and control centers every single um, defect detections models running throughout the plants and give an overall overview about the task to be done from a quality inspections perspective. Now, let's take another example in another industry. Tyson Foods operates in the food industry. The company is the world's second largest processor for chicken, beef, and pork. Uh, and in the poultry processing line, Tyson Food needs to ensure shackle pins are in perfect condition. Improper color may indicate a poor condition for the shackle pins. Uh, and shackle pins misplacements can actually lead to downtime and safety issue. So Tyson Foods created a custom machine learning model able to analyze pictures with shackle pins. Once deployed, this solution helped the plant managers to improve both the quality and safety at the lowest cost. Tyson Food employees are now notified right away when some maintenance may be needed. This particular solution helps save 
more than 15,000 hours of skilled labor in a single facility annually. This is close to eight to 10 full-time equivalent worth of labor hours. Imagine what they can do with that now. Let's cruise over uh, another industry, Invista, a fiber and resin company. As many industrial organizations, they are laser focused on increasing yield and OE in the manufacturing facilities. And early detections of anomalous condition is a key lever of increasing OE, the overall effectiveness of their, efficient, uh, of their plant. The solution we built with them leverages lookout for vision to detect anomalous conditions in the manufacturing lines. The system provides human in loop workflow and will gradually mature into an AIML based predictive root cause analysis tools. So, using Amazon Lookout for Vision, Invista actually reduced the cycle time of detecting anomalous conditions from one minute to a mere five seconds. Uh, but let's actually talk about how we can bring these great computer vision based use cases at the edge. Uh, and for that, I'll try, I'd like to jump to how supply chain operations can actually be optimized thanks to computer vision at the edge. Computer vision at the edge enables new capabilities for industrial organization, which could be supply chain logistics improvement, real-time traffic management, anomaly detection and manufacturing, as we just touched upon, or even worker safety. On these examples here, you can see how computer vision can help detect unauthorized movements, so trespassing in this case, that's the picture in the middle on the top here. Uh, you can use it to monitor personal activities so that you can actually provide awareness to monitor uh, their own activities. You can improve asset management by tracking equipment location and usage time. Uh, and last but not least, on the worker safety perspective, you can actually detect hazardous situation from a safety perspective. Uh, the picture on the middle, on the bottom, you can actually detect when safety procedures are not met. Or you can also track how workers uh, behave near hazardous materials. And you want to ensure the proper handling and disposal uh, are actually performed. How do we, can we actually achieve these use cases? Well, we can do that using AWS Panorama. AWS Panorama helps you bring your computer vision workloads at the edge. It helps you bring computer vision to actually standard internet protocol cameras, the kind of cameras that you have already in many uh, facilities. It could be for surveillance or security cameras, for instance. It could be for cameras that you're actually monitoring your production process on it. Uh, but cameras that were actually, well, not built to accommodate computer vision uh, use cases with AIML. So with address panorama, you can actually bring these capabilities to your existing cameras. You can analyze video feeds from multiple cameras in parallel, and it's very flexible, letting you bring your own custom computer vision applications at the edge. You have... Um, a selection of edge appliances. Uh, in the picture in the middle here, you see at the top, uh, you can see the AWS branded Panorama appliance, which embeds the most powerful NVIDIA Jetson AGX Xavier on board. It is IP62 rated, so it's actually suitable to actually be located into uh, a shop floor. Uh, it's dust resistant, and it can deliver more than 32 teraops from a performance perspective. On the bottom, you have another option uh, with the Lenovo Sync Edge SC70, which boasts Jetson NX Xavier architecture. The performance is north of 20 teraops and it's IP51 rated. It will just fill at home in your data center or your IT room next to your uh, facilities. Both appliances are built around the powerful NVIDIA Xavier GPU silicon. They can deal with multiple IP camera streams in parallel and they can actually uh, pipe multiple models that can run in sequence on each stream. These appliances can be set up in minutes from the AWS Panorama console. Let's have an example on how this was used by the port of Vancouver. 
Port of Vancouver is one of the customer leveraging Panorama to bring computer vision at the edge at scale. The Port of Vancouver needed to improve their shipping container inspection process efficiency uh, so that they could actually maximize throughput and eliminate paper-based tracking systems. Working with a partner, Deloitte Mobility, uh, they actually added computer vision AI ML at the edge to efficiently track the movement of shipping containers and expedite container inspection processes. So let's have a look at the uh, different options here that they actually implemented on uh, Panorama. Here are the few outcomes that they are actually obtained. Uh, they use object detection models to actually identify if a given shipping containers went through a video a given video feed uh, so you can imagine that they have cameras uh, all around the place in the port of vancouver and uh, they have trucks going through these cameras maybe under portiques so they are fixed uh, fixed oriented cameras and you can actually send these video feeds uh, and check if a given truck and a given uh, shipping containers actually already ran through that. So you can use object detections to actually um, process these video feeds and check if it actually went through. Um, you can also automate the extraction of shipping container identification. So you can use OCR and other computer vision techniques to read the labels that are written on the containers automatically, extract it and put it into a database, combined with uh, detections of the container uh, above. Uh, it allows you to actually automatically feed high quality data into your database. And these kind of models can be used basically to detect the containers, but also the trailers and, and track all the activities where they went through, if they actually, uh, when they're in the port, uh, when they were living, and if there are any congestion happening here. Uh, and this is where tracking and localization can help. Basically, they can query and ask, okay, where is my shipping container, which is a great um, way to actually use the outcome from the computer vision. So not only are they able to know where a container is, they can also know uh, by querying the database, by asking, uh, giving um, the actual uh, ID of the shipping container. Uh, they can actually uh, also monitor the capacity of the Port of Vancouver, so they will know if there are some available berth. Uh, they can actually check the average wait time in a, they even know when a container is currently under inspection because they can actually see the activity around the container. So all of these can actually help customers build um, dashboards uh, that are actually implemented in real time and that give you very deep insights into the operations of a very large and well chaotic environment, if you if you'd like. Uh, so what was possible with a fleet of hundreds of people scattered throughout the whole facility uh, you can actually guide the people to the right place to reduce the average wait time to make sure that uh, containers are actually processed as soon as possible uh, so this actually helps port of vancouver to deliver the actual insight and results in uh, state of the art dashboard directly from computer vision to uh, the actual business analyst, or maybe the uh, shipyard manager who can actually work on that. Let's have a, a look at how this looks like in real life. You can see here um, a truck going through. You can see the bounding boxes in green around it with the actual code detected uh, and the actual ID. And here's another. Uh, and you can see how the models actually tracks uh, and picks up directly the, um, uh, the track ID uh, from on the video streams. And this information are then sent directly into the database that they can query afterwards. So they can even know, okay, can you just bring up the part of the videos uh, where the truck actually came in so that they can actually also validate that the labels are correct. 
uh, if they detect some low confidence level coming from the model, they can actually work on that uh, and improve the models gradually by collecting data from the field directly. Let's have another example. This is an example with the Cincinnati International Airport, CVG. CVG leverages a task watch technology built around Elris Panorama to bring computer vision to existing IP cameras. By deconstructing the customer journey and identifying customer pain points, CVG can actually inform its workforce and positively enhance flyers and visitors' transit experiences. So using computer vision, CVG can detect events and couple these with automated work processes. The airport's workforce can then address passenger experience, safety, or security issues previously not known or addressed not in a timely fashion. Let me tell you about one of these use cases that they have deployed. The airport uses one of the models deployed on Panorama to manage security concerns and vehicle flow on the terminal curbs side. So the goal is to ensure passenger and commercial vehicles do not remain stationary for extended periods of time. Should vehicles become stationary longer than anticipated or acceptable, traffic flow, flow slows dramatically and capacity concerns escalate. This can result in frustrated drivers and customers wanting to be dropped off or picked up. Um, all of you have uh, been in a situation where you actually have to catch your flight and you can't wait to actually get off your car to actually run into the airport. Um, Taskwatch captures an existing video feed of the curbside traffic and with the help of address panorama analyzes this video looking for event-driven specifics defined by the airport operations leader. Computer vision algorithms are then run on the edge computing device, address panorama. Once TaskWatch identifies an event, such as a vehicle that has remained stationary for too long, the system sends a picture and timestamp to curbside attendants, equipped with the TaskWatch wearable device. It's actually a cool uh, smartwatch uh, that where they can actually see the, the video with added um, uh, results from the computer vision models. So that allows them to actually initiate the appropriate response. This is really how computer vision can actually help augment um, the operators actually maintaining the curbside flows around the airport. What is great is that in addition to that, backend calculations of their mass data points support tailored time of day scheduling to determine the necessary number of uh, curbside attendants. Additional details come, came to light actually, such as peak hour traffic, number of cars per square foot available, impact on through lanes and anomalies previously not experienced or viewed by a curbside attendant. Now, task post and address panorama are also used at CVG to observe the other side of the airport, uh, to analyze service activities conducted on each arriving and departing aircraft gate. By analyzing the timing of each ground handling event of the airplane's arrival and departure, the airport and tenant airline can actually remotely monitor each flight in real time or even replay what was happening at a takeoff and landing. This analysis supports the airport and the airline mutual brand commitment to actually improve response times to missing or delayed work steps. They provide a lot of insight for positive and service level performance reporting. And they can even be used to predict and prevent delays with mass data collection. Improving overall operational efficiency and timeliness response is game changing for enhancing the customer experience for the masses. And to make this technology work, Taskwatch captures an existing video feed observing an aircraft docking or undocking at the prescribed gate. The video feed analyzes such activities at each service event, such as load baggage. They notify appropriate ground personnel of event-driven concerns, bags not yet loaded, for example, and they generate a prioritized response to prevent a delayed departure. 
The traditional work effort relies on visual cues and radio relays among specific team members, leaving others potentially left out of the information misinterpreted. Computer vision automates the same process of a multiple and simultane simultaneous aircraft arrivals and departures, something that a widely dispersed work team of a multiple aircraft is challenged to do under the best of circumstances. So in this example, um, the airport of Cincinnati was able to leverage um, Edwards Panorama and the task was technology here to actually bring several computer vision based use cases to augment their own team. And this is where uh, many customers and industrial customers are going about. How can we actually use computer vision to provide timely and higher quality insights to human operators so that they can actually do their job easier, faster and better to deliver a higher quality of services to their end customers. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you liked this session and I will now take your questions in the chat. Have a good one. Bye-bye.